what, what, we all know what happened to Toya C. What do you actually think about that situation? Um, I would first of all like to use this uh, opportunity to send um, uh, our condolences to the parents of uh, Toya C. Uh, it was a big uh, blow. Um, parents everywhere felt it. It really doesn't matter where you are coming from. When a child's life is taken away suddenly, in that manner, a child which has um, a whole lot going for him, um, a law-abiding young man with lots of skills, and um, you know, it was a big blow. I remember where I was. I was just numb. I couldn't, you know, really move. I, tears was just running through my eyes because um, um, Toya C on that day has a lot of parents who were not really his biological parents, but a lot of parents everywhere. People came out, and there are some people still in, the, in their closet now still feeling the pain. And I felt that uh, it shouldn't have happened. And um, youth everywhere were in pain. I received some phone calls due to the work, nature of the work that I do, and see what are you going to do about this? What are we going to do? You know, um, I felt sad. The thing is that when you feel that pain and sadness, what you do is that you get even by taking action. Uh, taking action on the 10th of um, April, in which there was a rally, I felt that was a good, a, a good move. You know, um, my message at this point is that what we did on the 10th, what happened on the 10th of April should not be the end. There should be a continuation because that's one thing, when a tragedy happens, it kind of brings people together. It should not be only that time. There should be a continuation to make sure this type of a thing does not happen again. And you don't get even by, um, by uh, retaliating with evil, with evil or with bad situation. You get even by thinking of what step we're going to take as individuals and as a group, you know, together we stand, what we can do to make sure this does not happen again. And when uh, an opportunity like this comes, such as the Perot show that is having this uh, talk show today, people should be able to come and give their views and, and come together. In a year's time, are we going to forget so you see? You know, uh, um, how do we move from here? How do we start to heal the wounds of the youth? That really matters to me, because a lot of youth are still very, very sad. Uh, like uh, Nofe said a while ago, some really want to take action on a negative note. But you know, as a youth officer and also as a parent, I would say uh, um, eye for eye is not the situation. Let's think about the way forward, how we can deal with this. Because um, if we want to do it eye for eye, you know, um, it, it will not be okay. You know, let's, let's think of a situation where we can move forward. And please, um, if you experience or you are experiencing any form of racism, report it. Call your police station. Let there be data. Let there be statistics. Because when you call, go to any Gada station now and say, how many people have been reporting any racist attack, they don't really have a good number, whereas it happens on a daily basis. When we have this statistic from the guards, we'll be able to follow up with the policy makers and say this has to be done. Okay. I can say to you categorically right now, we do not have a good immigration policy or anti-racism policy. It is there in paper, but it's not being affected. You know, I would like to use this moment to please appeal to our parents as well. You know, parents have a great deal of responsibility in terms of our children and youth. You know, um, know where they are at a particular time. You are not on your own. Some people will say, I'm on my own. I don't deal with anybody. As long as you are a parent, you are not on your own. Because what happens to CRC happens in every home in this Republic of Ireland. Because some of us have teenagers that are the same age with CRC. If not that, some of us are parents. You know, we, we, we can't really feel the pain until, you know, one experiences it. Please, let's know where our children are at a particular moment. And at the same token, let's have this connection with our neighbors. Even if we are not going to be there, let's have the backup of making sure we know where our children are.